I know monsters aren't real, but there is an invasive fish here in the U.S. that breathes out of the water and walks across land. What the hell is going on? I called Pam Fuller and Matt Nelson. Okay, hello, we're here. Both fish biologists who study non-indigenous aquatic species because I want to talk to them about this straight-up badass fish. The proper name for it is actually Northern Snakehead. Thanks, Pam. When the Northern Snakehead was found on the eastern U.S. coast in 2002, the media went crazy because this fish was named one of the most invasive species to date. Its origins are in Asia, but scientists aren't sure how it got here. Some say it may have escaped a fish market, like walked off, and made it into a nearby stream where it found a new and suitable home. And this wouldn't have been hard. Here's why. If you were to make a successful invasive species checklist, this fish checks every single box. Lots of progeny, parental care, broad thermal tolerance. Meaning they make lots of babies that survive, can here. live almost here. anywhere, here. here, and eat almost anything. Whatever they can fit in their mouth, they're gonna eat. And they can breathe out of the water. How is this even possible? Matt told me northern snakeheads are called obligate air breathers, which means they must breathe on the surface periodically in order to survive. They have a chamber kind of in the back of their mouth, kind of behind where the gills are. You could think of it kind of like a very rudimentary lung. And that allows this fish to extract oxygen out of the air. And because they can breathe air, they can crawl out of whatever body of water they're in and into another, where, say, there might be more food. Even if that trek takes them, a few days. The northern snakehead has a firm hold in our river's ecosystems, much to the dismay of ecologists. And while fishing has helped control its populations, these guys are here to stay. Ugh.